Hello, my loves. Oh, this I had this in my mind for a long time, and I finally pulled it together to make it happen. Um, just kind of was been have been thinking about this kind of idea. So anyway, it's here, and it is yummy good, yummy good. Um, so there is a six-page collage collage pack for today. Um, two different types of old world um, maps. Then two or three, three, um, yeah, three um, maps of old New York. And then one page of the tree and um, these butterflies. These are gorgeous butterflies, by the way. So six pages of collage pack today. And I really wanted this to look a little more, um, I think, more like dreamy fantasy kind of. But I, I still like how it turned out. Um, that's kind of why I had the butterflies. It looks like it's night, but the butterflies are there. And then, this, of course, the symbolism of travel journey following your heart kind of thing with the maps and everything in the background. Um, I use this. This is one of my... I have a, I have a stack of old stamps that I have collected over the years and um, yeah, good stuff good good stuff so all right those are vintage stamps so those are yummy um, let's see what else I just used it's very simple today I mean it wasn't like a lot of detail just the usual map medium paper yeah oh and then um, stencils I used um, my vintage oh, I got I've got stuff everywhere I better get it off of here I'm gonna create a mess I create in batches like I just do a bunch of videos and when I do that I um, it's like a tornado in here so um, it's a tornado right now so vintage postage and then um, block font um, stencil which I love. I wanted something big and I'm like, oh, no. oh yeah, I got one of those. So I could do that. So perfect. I just love this. And I, these are, I wanted the, the white speckles to kind of resemble maybe some stars or sparkles or something kind of fairy dreamish. I don't know. It, but I like it. I like how it turned out. All right. So I have two quotes to share with you. Um, that go along with this and um, I love them both so I decided to share them both with you. Um, it says, uh, it's titled Dreams, within your heart keep one still secret spot where dreams may go and sheltered so they may thrive and grow where doubt and fear are not. So keep them safe within your heart, your little dreams to go. That's by Louise Driscoll. And then the second one is the most valuable possession you can own is an open heart. Oh my goodness, that's the hardest thing to do because what happens is we have taken good care of our dreams, just like the first quote said, and we've sheltered them and we've let them grow, and then we let them out and we share them with someone, or we share our love with someone, and we share something like that that's really valuable to us, and it's rejected, and somebody says it's stupid, or somebody doesn't like our ideas, or whatever it is, it hurts unbelievably, and so we, we, we quickly grab everything back in and put it back in a box and keep it safe, and don't ever want to, we don't ever want to expose that again because it hurts so bad so we don't we just lock away those dreams and those desires and we don't we don't keep following our heart and we just stay stuck stay in one place stay um, living and you know without our dreams alongside us and so Staying in that place is the worst thing that we can do, and we think it's safe, but it's not. It's a lie. And um, really, honestly, it only ends up hurting us. We end up getting angry and bitter. I'm saying all of this from personal experience. 
um, we get angry and bitter and we make bad choices and all kinds of stuff. We distance ourselves from people and that's no way to live. That's just not. And there's so much good within us and so many great things that we have and desire. We can't be afraid to show them, to let them out, to follow our heart, even if not everybody's going to love what we love. Not everybody's going to think our ideas are great. Not everybody's going to respond back in the way that we think that we should respond. And we need to be confident enough in our heart, in our desires, in ourselves to know that our, our, our dreams and where we want to go and how we follow our heart are, gosh darn, they're worthy. They're good. And they des de deserve to be out in the world and heard. And I don't ever want you to get stuck again. You probably will. I do on occasion. But the more that you get unstuck and the more you risk again, the easier it is every time someone says, ah, that's a bad idea, or whatever it is, or I don't love you, or whatever. Um, and so, my friends, take the risk today to follow your heart to go where you want to go, to dream how you want to dream, to love and, and be loved and step outside of the comfort zone and take the risk. It's so, so worth it. It's so scary, but it's so worth it. All right, lovies, I hope your Sunday is awesome. I hope it's restful. I hope you're taking steps to follow your heart. And I hope you always, always know that you are loved.